I've always wanted to put a sensor monitor into my rig and I thought I'd use one of the old phones that I have lying about. But before I could even begin the tutorial, it went face down onto the concrete and the screen is destroyed. So I can't install it in here. The screen does turn on, but I thought we'd proceed with the tutorial anyway and have a part one of remote system monitor. Remember to throw a like on this video to help out the channel. Okay, so the first thing you do, go to your browser, look for Trigon Soft Remote System Monitor. And once you click the link, you'll be redirected to their homepage. Just download the server that's suitable for your machine. Now your installation may be blocked by your PC. Just hit more info and run anyway. It'll begin running the program. And then just proceed as normal with the installation, installing it to the default folder. Okay, launch the program. Now there are default settings on here. The only thing you need to make sure is that it starts at boot time and is discoverable. Add a password and we're going to use this a little later on on the Android application. Then just click on certificate. There is a long certificate right there. Just remember the last four digits of it because we're going to need that a little later on. Next thing, go to your Android device. Look for the Trigon Remote System Monitor. Install that on your device and then open it. Once you've opened it, just hit accept and you'll see your server already on there, ready for you to configure your dashboards. Click on dashboards, hit the little plus button down the bottom, name it what you will. Now you can change the name a little later on. Click on add widget, select your PC. This is where we see that the last four digits match that long number that appeared on the screen before. Add the password you entered in before. And now we're ready to start adding our widgets to our dashboard. Select your widget type. In this case, we're gonna select gauge. Add a name to the gauge. In this case, I'm just gonna call it CPU. Select the type of information that you want the gauge to display. In this case, we're just gonna click into the CPU information. And then when you open that up, it gives you a whole list of sensors that you can display. In this case, I'm just gonna click CPU package. Select a color for the gauge. And then a minimum and maximum temperature that you want displayed on the gauge. When you're done, click back and it's easy as that. Now all you need to do is repeat the process for the rest of the information that you want displayed. All right, to make it look nice and clean, just go into the settings, select dark theme and select the landscape mode. And of course you want the screen kept on all the time. When you've added all your sensors, it should look something like this. And then you're pretty much done. Now, because I can't install it, I'm just gonna overlay it on here with the screen grab and have a look at the sensors in action. Now this is great because we're showing the CPU temps, CPU power, and of course GPU power. But I think what I'll do in part two of this video is change CPU power and GPU power to wattage instead of percentage. Well, they seem to be working okay. I look forward to putting together part two of this when I actually get a proper sensor panel and show you what it looks like in the machine. For now, remember to hit like and subscribe for updates on new content. 